Have you ever wondered why Election Day is always on a Tuesday in early November? Legally speaking, now it's because there's a federal law that requires it. It's Chapter 2 of the U.S. Code, Section 7, and it guarantees that Election Day for federal offices falls between November 2nd and November 8th, depending on the calendar, in even-numbered years. That happened in the late 1800s, partly to streamline voting around the country and stop elections held at different times in different places from influencing each other based on their results. But why a Tuesday? And why in November? The answer isn't based on any complicated legal idea. It's based on religion and farming. In the 1800s, most Americans were farmers, and holding elections in November didn't interfere with their autumn harvests. It also avoided making people travel in winter in the bitter cold. Speaking of travel, a lot of these farmers lived far away from their polling places. That meant most people had to travel at least a day to cast their votes. Making it a Tuesday rather than a Monday avoided religious complications for people who didn't travel on Sundays, the holy day of rest for most Christians. And it was also important back then to make sure election day never fell on the first day of the month, even if that was a Tuesday, because the first of the month was an important bookkeeping day. That's when merchants balanced their books from the previous month. Now, there's never been a federal law in the books about when elections have to be held for state and local offices and issues, but most places stick to using the federal election date because it's just easier. And that's why, all these years later, election day is always on the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November. This is Stephanie Haney, Legally Speaking.